Hello, welcome to Lou's Lounge. I'm your host, Lou Santos. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make jello shots. And so let's get started. Here's what we'll need a six ounce package of jello, any flavor of your choice. I'm choosing cherry today. We're also going to need about 16 ounces of hot boiling water. And we're also going to need some chilled rum or vodka, whatever you choose. Uh, you can actually use a lot of different things. You're also going to need some cups to put your jello shots in. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our package of gelatin, we're going to open our package. And we're just going to pour it right into this little empty pitcher here. We should get it all in there. All right. Now, we've got our hot water in this measuring glass right here. Just going to pour it in. And we're going to start stirring it up. We're going to stir it until it's all dissolved. Now, I've heard you don't have to actually keep all the uh, jello in the fridge because uh, it'll actually set at room temperature, but I don't really have the patience to try that out. So we're gonna actually speed it up a little bit, putting a little bit of ice in our rum. So we're gonna measure this out to 16 ounces. And so let's see. Right about, keep going. All right, that's pretty much the whole bottle. Yeah, okay. Now what I also like to do, like I said, to chill it a little bit more to get everything kind of going. We're going to get our ice and fill it up to about the 24 mark here. There we go. That'll do. Let's see. And this is pretty mixed. So let's see. You may be wondering how much alcohol can you put in a jello shot? The maximum alcohol content is somewhere about 30% alcohol by volume. Now the reason I also, another reason why I would put this in the ice is because uh, these cups that I'm using in particular, they don't want to, you don't want to get them too soggy. When the heat gets to them, they actually do get a little soft. So that's what we're going to be putting them in, these little paper cups today. All right, now what I'm going to do is put this back into the measuring glass for easier pouring. I'll do this about twice because there's enough room in the measuring glass. So here we go, we're ready to start pouring our shots. Ooh, nice and cold now, that's good. Let's see, I think I could just start pouring like that. Oh yeah, this is when you're really good professional when you can just pour them like this. Now we're going to take these over to the fridge and then we'll just uh, let them chill for about two hours. At least two hours. Usually three, maybe even four. Depends on how much time you have before the party starts. These can go in now. The first jello shots were reportedly created back in the 1950s when an American mathematician, Tom Lehrer, was working for the National Security Agency. He developed vodka gelatin as a way to sneak in alcoholic beverages on base, but this claim has not been substantiated. My last batch is all ready, and they look great! Okay, it looks like our jello shots are ready now, so what we're going to do is just give them a little poke and just double check, and they look perfect. Looks like we're ready to try one now, so let's give it a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. They are splendid. Okay, so now we're ready to go. I actually have a little lid for this tray. Very convenient. It snaps closed and it's got a handle. So we are off and ready to go to the party and let everybody else try them. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Lou Santos. Have a good day.